Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome to your English class. My name is Perla Kitsali. I hope you enjoy and you learn a lot. Remember that you have to take notes about this video and if you have any question or any doubt, please let me know during the virtual class. The last week we start working on the grammar part. We learned the use of either, neither, so and to. So today we are going to review that topic because I noticed that you have a problems when the when the use of this this. So we are going to review in order to understand better. So here we have so to either and neither. We use to express similar opinions. So to either and either. So and to are used with positive sentences, while either and neither are used with negative sentences. The main difference between so and to is going to be the word order. It's going to be the same with either and neither. The difference between these two words are the word use. And remember, we are going to use so and to for positive sentences and either and neither with negative. We are going to start talking about so and to. Remember, so and to we are going to use with positive sentences and the difference between so and to is going to be just the word order. So, for example, the first one says, Lily likes ice cream. Claire does too. So does Claire. If you notice, we are going to write two at the end of the sentence. And so we are going to write at the beginning of the sentence. Here we have another example. Her sister can swim. My sister can too. So can my sister. Yes, means the same. The, just the difference is going to be the word order. As I told you, two we are going to write at the end of the sentence. And so we are going to write at the beginning of the sentence. Here we have another example. Jason is very polite. Fred is too, so is Fred. And the last one. Albert has a problem. Peter has two, so has Peter. Yes, okay. So, so and two. So and two we are going to use for positive sentences. Two comes at the end of the sentence right after the auxiliary verb. And so comes at the beginning of the sentence before the auxiliary verb. Okay, so pay attention here. Remember, to use the correct auxiliary verb when you use to and so. For example, if the speaker use a modal verb, you have to use the same modal verb. If the speaker used the verb to be, you have to use the same verb to be. If the speaker used an action verb, you have to pay attention and be careful with the tense that the speaker is speaking. For example, if it's present, you have to use the auxiliary do and does. If the speaker used a verb to be, you have to use the verb to be too. If the speaker used a action verb in past, you have to use the auxiliary did. If the speaker used an action verb in past perfect, you have to use the auxiliary had. Yes, so you have to be careful with the tense that the speaker is using because you have to use the same tense. And according with this tense, you have to use the auxiliary. For example, Lily likes ice cream. This sentence is in present simple. So for present simple, we use the auxiliary does and do depending of the subject. For example, in this case, we use the subject Claire. So we are going to use does because the sentence is in present simple. 
So clear those two or so those clear. Her sister can swim. In these sentences, the speaker is using a modal verb. The modal verb is can. So we have to use the same modal verb. My sister can too, or so can my sister. Jason is very polite. In these sentences, the speaker is using the verb to be. So we have to use the verb to be too. For example, Fred is too, or so is Fred. Albert has a problem. Peter has two, so has Peter. Yes? Okay, so remember, we are going to use so and to for positive sentences. So is going to be at the beginning of the sentence before the auxiliary verb, and to is going to be at the end of the sentence after the auxiliary verb. And you have to be careful with the a modal verb or the auxiliary verb that the speaker is using because you have to use to. For example, if here use the verb to be, you have to use the verb to be too. If the speaker use a modal verb, you have to use a modal verb too. Yes? Okay, so now we are going to continue with neither and either. Neither and either we are going to use with negative sentences. For example, they don't like waking up early. I don't either, neither do I. So the main difference between either and neither is going to be just the word order. Either we are going to write at the end of the sentence and neither we are going to write at the beginning of the sentence. Mr. Davis won't attend the meeting. Mr. Johnson won't either. Neither will Mr. Johnson. Claire is not a good dancer. Alice isn't either. Neither is Alice. She hasn't finished the test. I haven't either. Neither have I. So remember, either and neither we are going to use for negative when we agree with negative sentences. Either is going to be at the end of the sentence right after the negative verbs and neither comes at the start of the sentence before the verbs which aren't in their negatives. For example, they don't like waking up early. I don't either. We are going to write either right after the verb in negative. If we are going to write neither before the auxiliary verb put in positive, yes? Here we have another example. Mr. Davis won't attend the meeting. Mr. Johnson won't either. We are going to write either at the end of the sentence just after the auxiliary verb in negative. And neither will Mr. Johnson. We are going to write neither at the beginning of the sentences before the auxiliary verb, but in positive, yes? Claire is not a good dancer. Ellis isn't either. Neither is Ellis. She hasn't finished the test. I haven't either. Neither have I. Okay, so now we are going to practice. 
Yes, so you are going to uh, try to answer this, this exercise. For example, Car Carmen is not married. Me falta una N. Perdón, chicos. Carmen is not married. Neither am I. I am not either. She can swim. Excellent. So can I or I can too. My sister has a car. So do I. I do, do too. They didn't go to the school last Friday. Neither did I. I didn't either. Excellent. Okay. They like giraffes. So do I. I do too. We didn't finish the homework. Neither did he. He didn't either. Yes, if you notice, we use the same. Here we have the, the verb to be. Here we have the verb to be. Here we have the modal verb. Also, here we have the modal verb. These sentences is in present simple, so we use the auxiliary in present simple. These sentences is in past, so we use the auxiliary in past. So here we have in present simple, we use the auxiliary in present simple. Here we have the sentences in past, so we are going to use the auxiliary in past. Okay, so now we are going to practice. If you have your book, please open, and if you don't have it, don't worry. Remember that you can write your answers in the notebook. So you are going to use you are going to use your book if you have it on page 155. And if you don't have it, don't worry. We are going to write your answers. You are going to write your answers on your notebook. So here we have in this part you have grammar. You have to and either. So what do you have to do? You have to put these words in order and then you are going to write to or either. For example, I hate papaya, I do too. Okay, so the number one says she sleeps in often. So you are going to write she often sleeps in, he does too. Yes? So that's what you have to do. You have to put in order these sentences and then you are going to use to or either. Remember that to and either we are going to write at the end of the sentences and to is going to be for positive sentences and either is going to be for negative sentences. So you have to answer before the Zoom class because we are going to check your answers during the Zoom class. So the number two we have every day work out don't I. So you have to put in order and then you are going to use two or either. Can today with she hang out them? And you are going to use two or either. Remember, you have to put in order and then you are going to use two or either. Is our cool teacher English? You have to write in order and you are going to use two or either. With happy aren't results the football. You have to write the sentences in order and then you are going to use two or either. So in exercise number two and the last exercise, you are going to read and you are going to number the lines of the dialogue. So we have so and neither. You have to put in order these sentences. We have so did I, what did you think? Yes, I did. I stream it live on my computer. I don't want to talk about it there. It was horrible. I thought they were going to win. Did you see the game last night? So did I. Then at the last second, the other team scored a goal. I feel sad for all the fans. 
So do I, but I don't want to talk any about it anymore. So you have to put this conversation in order. We are going to start with Tom. Did you see the game last night? And you are going to write number one, number two, number three, and so on. So if you have any question or any doubt, please share during the virtual class. Thank you so much and bye-bye.